I'm using my phone to try and set this up right. Okay, let's go. Blow torch. First things first, take this off. So, I also got to take off these things, that, and that, real fast. That's off and good. See, stupid me not thinking I should have brought a claw. Cloth that moving the moving cloth so to put the top on that so it doesn't get scratched or nothing. Stupid me, I should have brought that. Oh well. I'll be very very careful with it. Now that so this just fits. This just fits. Nicely, right back there, right like that. That's how nice that thing fits in there. Oh yeah, look at that, I got a back wall. That's what I gotta fix. First things first is to glue it, clamp it, broaden it. Now you kind of have an up. This goes right like that.
there. Oh, that's what I forgot to get. I forgot to bring paper towels or something. So why won't the extra glue? I forgot to get a rag. Damn it. Ugh. I'm about to choose my finger. Apply the glue nicely. Apply it nicely. A little bit of all you need. Shit ton of it on. You just need a little bit. Just and you just use the, the the blue bottle itself. Pretty much just spread it. But now it's good to have a paper towel to um just wipe it off. Just wipe off the blue bottle itself and also the 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 excess that comes out. Do it nice and to wipe off this excess. Really wipe off the excess. And this just goes on like this. Nice and dandy dandy. Dandy dandy. It goes on. Really only go on one way. It goes on nicely like that. I gotta really wipe this excess off. I'm so stupid. Oh, I got it on my sweatshirt. Really? I think we just got it on the sweatshirt too. Take the clamp. Oh, I could have gone with a smaller one. Yeah, I could have gone with a smaller clamp. I really gotta wipe this excess off. Take the clamp. Snug it up two. Just carefully snug it up with two. Hope it sticks. Ow. That's what you have when you have a bike right there to hold the camera. Snug it up for two. Snug it up nicely. I wish I actually had a third one. Should have had a third one to put right there. Yeah, because I can see that this needs a third one. Not as Cody, the third one. To actually squeeze that in right like that. I should have used the third one. Oh god, I said barely even on there, that one. Okay. But uh, I need a paper towel. Oh, and I should have uh, got something for that. Just to squeeze that little card in right there. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Shit. Note this towel. Start leaving paper towels in your truck. There you go. Note this towel. Start leaving paper towels in your truck.
just would have been a little bit too big, more means for it to shoot out. side right here is going to be difficult. This side right here, I think I might have to this little half. This little half that's like behind here. I might have to do a five five eighth inch brad. So I'll just be very careful with that. I might not I might not brad it at all. This right here on the brad. That went in there perfectly. is even more dead than the other one or whatnot. Whatever. I'm gonna see what I can get with these batteries, if anything. But as I was saying before it died. Um just gonna brad all this, let it stand, work on the on the top. I should have charged these two new batteries. Never assume that they are fully charged. Switch it out to 
one and a half for that last bottom part. Cut side piece. So, lip, it fits, it's pretty good. I may, just have, I may have to just trim this down a little, little bit. This piece will look down a little bit compared to the size, but then you have the lip. Remember, you have a lip that comes out. This piece I gotta take off. So, let's get to it. Oh, she does rat. There's mouse turds in here, too. There we go. Nice and clean. It's nice and clean. So now ready to get measured, placed, and cut. So I'm gonna go get that done. Then I'll meet you guys back here in a couple minutes, alright? See you guys for now. 
What's up, guys? Alright, I'm back. I had a quick, uh, take the, run this, uh, lift piece in, uh, through the table saw. Make it just a tad bit smaller. But now it fits. Make sure I have it right and it backwards again. Like this. And then she'll just fit on there nicely. I'm gonna age her with the blowtorch. What's up, blowtorch? I'm gonna age it. Right there, I gotta just uh, do some wood chill, wood filler. My mistake, always. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna age it to kind of match, you know, match the box, because it's hard to find an exact replica of what this is supposed to be, an exact piece. So I'm gonna age it just to make it look a little bit better to kind of blend in a little bit because I do believe this is like cedar or um because it smells like it so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get going all right let's do this it's gonna be fun let's see do this okay I'm pretty sure you guys can see me With that shed, time to get some blow torching on. Get the blow torching, baby. This shit's gonna get crazy hot in here. It's gonna get crazy hot in here. It's gonna be fun as hell. It's gonna be fun as hell. Oh, hell yeah. It's gonna be fun as hell. It's gonna get crazy hot in here. Let's light it up. Light this bitch up. Basically, all you do is just lightly just go over it. Actually, you might want to just make the flame a little bit stronger. Just lightly go over it real fast. You don't want to set it on fire. You just want to, like, just give it a little burn just to age it a little bit. Make the flame a little bit bigger. And just lightly. Because you're aging the wood this way. You're aging it. And yes, this will also draw out um, heat, um, the little the moisture that's left in the wood. Oops. That spot a little too much. You're basically wood burning, is what you're doing, and you're aging it. You're just giving it a nice, like, age finish to it. Apparently, this strip of wood is very moist because. A lot of little bubbles are coming out. Now look at that, that's one side done. Now let's actually get a closer look at this. So one side done, and look at how that aged. Oh, the spring just went out. I thought the battery died. And just look at how that aged wood. So pretty much kind of match. Like, so you can't even tell. You could hardly tell the difference between. Now you can really tell the difference because this is not aged. Aged, and it matches. It matches the wood. Not aged, aged. Not blends in, blends in. Look at like that literally does blend in pretty well. That came out really, really good. Came out really good. Now onto the 
onto the back side. I gotta do this side, and actually I gotta do like that the, there. I gotta do there. The whole piece is gonna be aged. Let's get done. This is actually coming out really, really good. Didn't expect it to come out this well. Did not expect this to come out this good. This well. I ladder up again. Boom, baby. Look at this pretty, pretty, pretty piece. Again, blends in perfectly. Now, with this, you could, um, depending on how aged you want it, all depends on how long you keep it on there. You keep the flame on the piece of wood. Just gotta be careful not to set it on fire. So it's just like literally a quick, easy thing like I did. Just a quick, easy little thing, which comes out really, really, really nice. And it ages perfectly, and therefore it blends in perfectly. Even the edge is, all the edges are aged. So it came out really, really good. Now just to figure out what side, you know, was supposed to go where, because I kind of turned it around and flipped it around so many times. Oh, the black dot, see the little black dot? It's a Sharpie marker. It's a Sharpie dot. That, I think, was supposed to go... <coughs> I think it's supposed to go this way. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to go this way. Yeah, it goes this way. And it goes this way. But it just blends in perfectly. <coughs> it blends in perfectly. Like, it just looks almost natural. I mean, it almost goes with it. I mean, I could try and burn it a little bit more, but I don't want to, because I don't want to age it that 
badly. <coughs> I could. I might. <coughs> Got a tickle in my throat. So I might just actually burn this a little bit more. Like this front edge here, I might just burn a little bit more. It's still actually hot. Like warm, so it feels good. There you go, guys. Oh, it's nice and warm, too. <coughs> there you go. It's actually aged a little bit darker now to kind of match the front lip here. Oh, yeah, now, now that I aged it a little bit more, it kind of bowed it now. Now I gotta really just make sure that it stays flat. But now, it looks a little bit better, kind of blending it in with the front. And that's all I'm doing with it. I ain't going to uh, age it anymore because it's already, it's already bowing. It's bowed now. So, with that said, with that said, um, I got to just um, nail it. Uh, I got to brad nail it, then I got this wood fill that one uh, little slot in it. So, I'll catch you guys in a, in a minute or two. Alright? Alright, guys. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to put this on. A little bit of wood glue. Little, like, little, little bit of wood glue. And, um, 5 eighth brads. Possibly one and a quarter brads, depending on how I want it to break through or not. So, that's my debate. But, I'm gonna glue this, a little bit of glue, a little, because there already there was glue on here. I don't need a lot. literally like all I need. I don't need a lot whatsoever. Close that back up. I will wipe that off in a second. And then just place this on here nicely. And that's also why I didn't want to use glue because you know it's Trying to get it just in the space that I need it. It's 
especially because this is uh, bowed out now because it bowed on me from burning it, the glue, and then I'll have a clamp to hold it there. So yes, the glue does help in a way, but then again, no, it doesn't. So I'm gonna fry this baby in. Hopefully these five eighths work. Yep, they, they seem to work. Mm, they seem to be shooting them a little too deep. A little too deep in there, which means that the pressure is either set too high or this is a set too much. Because it's really hammering them in there. Whatevs. It's at like 80. Possibly a little bit above. I'll be right back. It's at 80. Turn it down a little bit. It's at 80, so it's right where it's supposed to be. Ugh. Don't you fall. Just gonna finish brightening this off. I'm using a little bit more brads than really necessary just to make sure that it really holds it on there because I don't have a clamp. So they're going to be spaced a little bit closer. Boom. Now she's in there pretty, pretty good. She's in there pretty. No, not pretty good. She's in there really good. She ain't gonna come out at all, really. I mean, yeah, the, the glue will end up drying and holding, and uh, it'll be perfect. But she ain't gonna go nowhere. She ain't gonna go nowhere. She looks pretty on the outside as well. So with that shed, I think she's good. I think she's good. Um, uh, I'm not gonna use the one and a quarter. I think she's fine. I do say that there, I think there's plenty of brads in her. Um, I just need one more here. And then she should be good to really just make sure she stays down there. Now to just fill that up with some wood filler. Get some uh, wood filler. Cause that somehow it always happens to me. But all right, I don't know where that just kicked off on me at, but um, I gotta just quick wood fill that up. I'm gonna quick do that and make it look like it's not even there. Okay, so as I was saying before battery died again, 
Um, I got this quick wood fill that. I know I will make that nice and I'll wood fill that really good. Make it look like it's not even there. And then this will be done for today. This will all be done. I will let this sit overnight to really just dry, make sure the glue dries. And then tomorrow morning I'll come back, put the clamps, uh, put take the clamps off, put the top back on, screw it, screw the screws, all the hinges back together, and it'll be done. And it'll be completely done. Alright. So let me just get the wood filler and I will wood fill this damn baby up. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Carpenters wood filler. Good shit. Now this stuff, just take your hand take your finger, put it on, do it, done. Easier, use your finger. And that's where the scraper comes in too. Well, Normally I would just use um, a brand new box cutter blade to just scrape it off real nice and easy because it's just easier because um, you have to scrape off any excess or whatnot. So that's why I have this because I don't know where my box cutter blades are. Still fine. So let's get to it. Using my other finger to re to hold it, so that way it doesn't fall through. Make sure that's nice and dandy. As best as possible on this very corner here. As best as possible. Just kind of let that dry. I'm gonna just let it dry a little bit before I really start to. Um, I want to just let it dry a little bit before I really start to to scrape off near that the corner there, near the, the point right here, because right here it will come out of that real easily when it's in there to fill it up. But I can do right there. Just take that off like that. Cover this bad boy back up. Let this just dry a little bit before I really start to go and shape up that, that tip there. But I can do this. See, this is all you do. Ready? That's all you do, that's it. Do it just to get the just to get the gunk off, the excess off. That's it. 
Done. See? That's all you do. Just to get the gunk off. That's it. Boom. Done. That's good and dandy. Oh. Like I said, quick and easy. Now what I would do too is actually just take a just take a light piece of sandpaper. I'll have to do it tomorrow. And just try and just sand the rest of that off. Or wash it off. That's done and dandy. Alright. So this project, I say. I do say this is finito for today. This is finito. I am done. I'm packing up. Going home. I'll be back tomorrow to um, just take the clamps off and put it back together. I want to just let the glue dry. And we are good. Alright guys. That's it for now. With the woodworking hope chest. Alright. Peace out. See you guys when we get back home. Alright. See ya. Alright guys. I'm home. And I'm just about done for today. Yeah I know I could go back out. And still do the dirt. And the lattice and everything. Yeah, it's only 3 o'clock, but hell yo, it's windy as hell out, it's cold, and it's just not fun to work with, to work in out there, especially because it is cold, uh, and not also that, but mostly because it's also windy, so pretty much you just get blown away, so it's very hard to, to try and work out there without getting blown away, um, so I'm done for today, I will be back tomorrow, obviously. I am going to be doing the cameras all day tomorrow because, like I said, these cameras are going to be done by Monday the 21st. Tomorrow's the 20th. I'm working on those cameras all day tomorrow. All day. Well, after I just quick finish um, the hope chest. I'll be working on these cameras all day after that. All day non-stop doing these cameras getting them done all right so that's it for now guys until tomorrow guys until tomorrow please subscribe um please subscribe to my channel yeah i'm gonna redo that please join me and subscribe to my channel so we can share ideas help each other out and learn new things together Alright, until tomorrow guys, see ya.